सो हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम यू ऑल टू दिस न्यू वीडियो सो टिल माई टिल नाउ इन माई प्रीवियस वीडियोज आई हेड डिस्कस्ड फ्यू ऑफ द प्रॉब्लम रिलेटेड टू स्टेट मॉडल विद रिस्पेक्ट टू द ट्रांसफर फंक्शन एंड द स्टेट स्पेस इक्वेशन सो दो थिंग्स आई ऑलरेडी कवर्ड सो वन मोर इंपॉर्टेंट कॉन्सेप्ट विच आई वॉन्टेड टू टेल यू इन दिस वीडियो दैट इज स्टेट मॉडल फॉर सम डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन ओके सो यू कैन बी एक्सपेक्टिंग इन द क्वेश्चन इन द एग्जाम विद रिस्पेक्ट टू द डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन दे वुड बी गिविंग यू वन डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन फॉर दैट यू शुड बी ऑप्टेनिंग अ स्टेट मॉडल सो फॉर दैट फॉर दोज काइंड ऑफ क्वेश्चन हाउ यू कुड बी आंसरिंग दैट इट इज वेरी इजी इट इज नॉट अ लेंथी क्वेश्चन एट ऑल यू कुड बी इजीली आंसरिंग इट सो जस्ट लिसन टू दिस वीडियो एंड यू वुड बी अंडरस्टैंडिंग इट इन अ थरोली ओके सो इन दिस हैव ऑलरेडी सॉल्व टू क्वेश्चन एंड केप्ट इट so i'm just going to explain it to you all in one by one so this is the first question obtain the state space model for differential equations and that first one is d cube y by dt cube with respect to t only okay this whole equation is d cube y by dt cube plus 6d square y by dt square plus 11dy by dt plus 6y is equal to 5u1 plus 10u2 so this is one differential equation right for this you should be trying to obtain the state space model you should be writing the output equation and the state equation so for that the first thing what you need to be doing is you should be considering first the output variable y okay because in this the common variable is y so that you put it as assign one state variable to that that is first in this in this kind of question first step is this you should be doing it that is y is equal to x1 okay after that you take the derivative that is y dot y dot is Respect is with respect to the first derivative, right? dy by dt. So y dot is equal to put the derivative on both sides. So this also would be equal to x one dot. That you put it as equal to. For this now you assign one more uh, variable, state variable that is x two. So this would be equation one. Similarly, for second derivative, y double dot is equal to x one double dot. So that would be equal to x. Uh, x2 dot because this it's x2's derivative right x1 double dot so that's why it would be x2 dot and for this you assign one more state variable x3 similarly for third derivative d cube y by dt y triple dash is equal to x1 triple uh, triple dash triple dot that is equal to x2 double dot that would be equal to x3 dot that is the derivation of the third order. so that you should be stopping there because we don't have any fourth order so these are the three set of equations equations you noted down now if we compare these three we would be getting two input uh, state variables with respect to x1 and x2 that is x1 dot that is the dx by dt first derivative would be equal to x2 from equation 1 and x2 dot that would be equal to x3 from equation 2 because these two are equal in this two set of equations which have already defined it so that's why for first two we have already got for x matrix that is x1 and x2 that is equal to x1 dot is equal to x2 and x2 dot is equal to x3 now one more is left that is for x3 dot so what you should be doing for x3 dot is simple what to do is consider the given equation that is the given input equation in that replace all the third order second order first order derivatives by whatever we have defined just now okay that is first is d cube y by dt cube that would be replaced by y triple dash then we have 6y double dot for second order plus 11y dot for first order plus 6y is equal to 5u1 plus 10u 10u2 okay so now here here uh, according to the definitions which you have assigned one state variables that you should be replacing in this equation that is y triple dot uh, y triple dot we have given it as x3 dot okay so replace the value of the this by this so 6y double dot 6 into y double dot is equal to x3 so that i have replaced it 6x3 plus 11y dot y dot is equal to x2 so 11x2 plus 6y y is equal to x1 so 6x1 is equal to 5u1 plus 10u2 now what i have done is i have just taken x3 to one side and all the terms have shifted it to other side so now what it would be looking like x3 dot we would be getting one equation here now if you want to write the matrix in the matrix form you should be considering all the coefficients right so now x3 dot is equal to minus 6x1 since this is gone to other side then minus 11x2 Minus six x three plus five u one plus ten u two. Okay, so now you put this as equation four. Now we got all the three variables x one dot, x two dot, and x three dot. Now you could be easily writing the state equation since state equation is of the form x dot is equal to a x plus b u. Okay, so x dot under under x dot we have three values for x one, x two, x three. 
third derivative, three derivatives. Okay, that is equal to a matrix. Under a matrix, you see here you should be considering these three uh, equations: x1, x2, x3. In this, you see here under x1 dash we have three uh, derivatives. One is for x1, x2, x3, but we have only for x2. So you should be considering the coefficients of x2. The coefficients of x1 and x3 are zero. Okay, so this would be zero, one, zero. Similarly, for this x2 dot we have for x3. So that's why in the third place I put it as one. Rest two are zeros. Then for x3 dot, you see here we have the, all the coefficients of x1, x2 as well as x3. That is minus six, minus eleven, minus six. So I have written it as minus six, minus eleven, minus six. And x matrix is the variables that is x1, x2, x3 plus b, b matrix. So b matrix you see here, b matrix uh, for x1 and x2 we don't have any values of u, right? Because we have only the values of x, so that's why for uh, automatically for x1 and x1 dot and x2 dot these two rows and co uh, two rows we should be putting the values as zeros. But in the third row we have the coefficient of x3 dot that is with respect to u1 and u2 that is 5 and 10. So that's why I've written it as 5, 10, and these are the two uh, uh, input variables u u1 and u2 that I've mentioned it here as u1, u2. So this is the state equation, state model which we have written for the state equation with respect to the differential equation. So now the output equation output equation is y is equal to cx plus du okay so here y is equal to c c means we should be we have only written only one equation for y that is y is equal to x1 rest all are for the derivative so you should be considering only this equation in this you see here we have the coefficient value of only x1 for x2 and x3 we don't have that is 0 so that's why I have written it as 1 0 0 into x1 x2 x3 plus d value is not mentioned only since we don't have any u u value so that's why it would be automatically 0 and the two variables you should be mentioning as u1 and u2 okay so this was one problem now one more problem of the same kind which was there in the previous year uh, question paper of the 2022 scheme so that I've just uh, uh, solved it for you guys. Similar kind of problem. There are few changes. That is here we have only one u of t value. Okay. The question is d cube y by dt cube plus 4 d square y by dt square plus 7 dy by dt plus 2 y is equal to 5 u of t. Okay. Again as I've told you first step is y is equal to x1. Then take each derivatives starting from the first, second and third order with respect to 1, 2 and 3 dots. So first y dash or y dot that is equal to x1 dot that you assign one variable as state variable as x2 no y double dot that would be equal to x1 double dot and uh, x1 double dot is the derivative of uh, derivative of x2 is x1 dot so that's why it would be x2 dot now that again for that you assign one state variable x3 similarly for y triple dash you would be getting x3 dot okay so from equation 1 and 2 we have got the values of x1 dot and x2 dot that is x2 and x3 so for x3 you should be again substituting the differential equation with respect to the uh, whatever defined terms do that substitution here where i have replaced y triple dash by x3 y double dash by uh, y triple dash by x3 dot y double dash by x3 y dot by x2 y by x1 so i have replaced it and i have taken x3 dot to one side and all the other terms to other side so this would with this way you would be getting the equation of x3 dot name it as 4 like now you have got all the three equation sets of x1 x2 and x3 now you could be easily writing the state equation state equation is x, x dot is equal to ax plus bu where we under x under x matrix we have x1 x2 and x3 that is equal to again uh, in x1 value we have only the coefficient of x2 so you should be writing only the second value or the rest of the x1 and x3 coefficients are 0 and for x2 again we have only for x3 that is here it is 1 then uh, re rest of the x1 and x2 are 0 and for x3 we have all the three coefficients of x1 x2 and x3 that is minus 2 minus 7 and minus 4 into x1 x2 x3 plus b matrix b matrix for uh, x1 since here we are we are considering only 3 cross 1 matrix why because we don't have two u values in the previous problem we have considered two u values that is u1 and u2 so that's why we had considered two columns but here we have only one one value of u so that's why you should be considering only one column matrix that is three column so here you see here you don't have any u term for x1 and x2 here so that's why these two are zero and for x3 dot we have the term 5u and the coefficient is 5 so you have mentioned it here into the variable u 
So this is the state equation. Similarly, output equation y is equal to cx plus du. Again, uh, the same thing since what we have only taken y is equal to x1 and x2, x3 coefficients are not there. So that would be equal to 0. So the first variable x1 coefficient that is 1. So 1, 0, 0 into x1, x2, x3 in the matrix plus d, uh, d value is not mentioned since we don't have any u term in the output equation. So that's why it is 0 into u. So yeah. So in this way, you could be easily solving for differential equations if they give to represent the differential equations uh, for the state model. So hope you understood this video guys. It was very easy. You could be expecting this for around uh, 6 marks. If they give uh, 3 sub questions in one question, you, they might be giving this question for 6 marks. Okay. So hope you understood how to solve this problem. So please like this video guys. Subscribe to our channel and stay tuned for the next video. So that's all guys. Thank you.